Liberals like to claim that socialism doesn't work and that capitalism is more productive and works much better than socialism. This is laughable at best, especially when considering that it was due to due to socialism that the USSR was able to develop at tremendous speed, thereby, thereby allowing the Soviet Union to crush Nazi Germany and freeing humanity from fascist tyranny. As Joseph Stalin said himself, the USSR was 50 to 100 years technologically behind the rest of the capitalist powers. Their job was to reach their level and beyond in around 10 years. But how could this happen in such a short time span? The reason is that industrialization under capitalism starts off slowly. This is due to capital mainly being invested into light industry and not heavy industry, i.e. the means of production. This starts later in the, peri in the period of industrialization under capitalism, and therefore it takes many years. Socialist industrialization, on the other hand, due to the dictatorship of the proletariat, can shorten this time tremendously by taking the capital that would have been used on light industry and is now directly spent on the heavy industry, thereby expanding the means of production. This, combined with the raising of productivity of labor due to the liberating nature of socialism, allowed the USSR to experience never-to-be-seen rapid industrial development. The USSR experienced a yearly industrial growth rate of about 20%, whilst the capitalist countries experienced on average 0.3%. This is around 67 times more than the capitalist countries. From 1928 to 1937, the amount of workers and functionaries grew from 3.8 million to 10.1 million. Before the second five-year plan, the USSR imported, imported around one-third of all machines from foreign countries, but around the year 1937, they only imported around 0.9%. They started developing their own machines, tractors, cars, vehicles, etc., and even began exporting their own machines to foreign countries. While the West was experiencing an economic depression, the USSR retained close to no unemployment and an economy that grew while the capitalist economy was deteriorating. To sum up, Russia in 1917 was a backwards developed semi-feudal nation which was almost not industrialized and was on its way to become fully imperialized by the West. Just after 20 years, the Soviet Union became a superpower and one of the world's leading economies with science, within science, technology and medicine. Now I ask, does this sound like a failure of socialism or a massive victory of socialism that capitalists won't recognize?